Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at how some aircraft can fly upside down and how lift is created on the wings. First, let's see how lift is created on the wings when an aircraft is flying straight and level. To understand this, we need to take a closer look at the cross-sectional shape of the wing, which is the airfoil. Lift is created because of a pressure difference between the top and the bottom surface of the airfoil. As the airfoil or the aircraft moves forward, low pressure is created on the top surface and high pressure is created at the bottom surface. This creates the required pressure difference for the lift force. So let's see how this pressure difference is created for the lift. Because of the shape of the airfoil, the air particles flowing over the top surface travel faster than the air particles at the bottom. According to Bernoulli's equation, velocity and pressure are inversely proportional. This means that on the top surface, the velocity is more and the pressure is less and at the bottom surface the velocity is less so the pressure is more the lift force that is created is not constant there are different factors which affect the lift that is being created on the airfoil. Some of these factors are velocity at which the aircraft is moving, the density of air, the shape and the size of the airfoil, and the angle of attack. To understand how an aircraft can fly upside down, we need to take a closer look at what influence the angle of attack has on the lift. The angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the relative airflow. As the angle of attack increases, the lift increases. And as the angle of attack decreases, the lift decreases. This is because an increase in the angle of attack means more air will be pushed downward. And hence more lift is created. A decrease in the angle of attack means that less air is pushed downward and hence less lift is created. So we can say that as long as the air gets pushed downward at the trailing edge, lift is created on the wing. Now let's see how can an aircraft fly upside down. In order to maintain the aircraft in this attitude, the aircraft's pitch needs to be adjusted such that it still has a positive angle of attack. This positive angle of attack means that the air is pushed downwards at the trailing edge. This will create the required lift to maintain inverted flight. So as long as the angle of attack is adjusted such that the air flows downwards, an upward force will be created on the wing. But a normal airfoil will still create a downward force because of its shape. So if an aircraft is required to fly upside down, the airfoil should be thinner than the ones used in other aircraft. Can all aircraft fly upside down? 
if we consider commercial aircraft, only in case of severe adverse weather conditions, the aircraft may roll and become upside down. But manually, it is not possible to fly a commercial aircraft in an inverted condition. This is because usually these aircraft have a dihedral wing design that will try to restore the aircraft back to its original attitude. Another reason is that the onboard computers will prevent excessive bank with the help of different control surfaces. This will trigger different warnings in the cockpit such that the aircraft returns to its normal flight attitude. So that's all for my video on flying an aircraft upside down. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, do subscribe and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.